let's start the installation of MongoDB on CentOS. First of all, what we require, we require a virtual machine called a VMware player need to be installed our Windows operating system. After that, we have to download a CentOS version and we need to configure that into our virtual machine or VMware player. We have different version of CentOS, 6.x and 5.x. Currently, I am using a version 6.x in that also 6.2. It's up to your choice which version you want to go with. You can choose that out and you can go with the installation. Okay, now we have to write the commands in the terminal. Where we can find the terminal? Go to applications, go to system tools and press terminal. As you can see that for this user is Tom. By default user created is Tom over here. If you have created your own user then it will display your name or whichever name you want to give and at the right local host. The password for the Tom is Tom Tom. T O M T O M. Okay. Now let's start the installation. Before that we need to require our OS operating OS bit. So for that we have a command uname hyphen m. It will list our OS bit whether it's a 64 bit or a 32 bit. It shows me x86 underscore 64 for me. It means that my system is 64 bit. Now I have to perform the installation accordingly. To proceed further with the installation we have to move to root directory. For that we have a command su and we need to type a password tom tom. Okay, as you can see that I am logged in as a root user now. Root at the rate localhost tom. First of all what we have to do, we have to edit our tangent.repos file. For that we have a command vi space etc space sorry not space you can say backslash m dot repos dot d hyphen tension dot repo let me cross check the uh, command that I have given before proceeding further vi space etc slash m dot repos dot d tension dot repo okay as you can see that I have logged in through a VI editor then we need to press I to insert any text inside, inside that. So we have to write the command according to our 64 bit. I will show you the command for 32 bit as well what need to be changes what changes we have to do in this. Tangent name equals to Tangent space repository after that you have to give the base URL from where we from which we will be downloading the file HTTP downloads hyphen distro dot mongod dot org backslash repo backslash red hat backslash os after that x86 underscore 64 this is a command for the 64 bit if you are using a 32 bit then it, you need to change only this line For 32 bit we have to change this command itself i686 okay now as I'm using a 64 bit so I need to make changes again x86 underscore 64 after that gpg check equals to 0 now we have written the text inside that we need to save the file so for that we have a command skip shift double colon wq we can cross check it whether the text written has been in this it's correct and fully saved 
for that we have a command cat space backslash edc backslash m dot repos dot d backslash tangent dot repo you can cross verify over here once name tangent repository base url okay it looks good now we can proceed further with the other step so for that we have a command yum install with this command you will be installing a latest version of a mongodb for that we have a command yum space install space mongo hyphen tangent space mongo hyphen tangent hyphen server it will start downloading the packages of mongodb okay it asked me whether to download or not I have given the permission yes so in this it will download five packages for us one is already been done because the size is very less 4.6 KB so it took very less, less time now it's downloading the second package for that the size is 9 MB okay second package is also done let's see how much time it will take for the third package speed looks quite good so I don't think so it will take much time over here 40% already done 60% done Okay, 100% done. Now it is installing the fourth package. For that also, 37%, 45, 50, 80% done, 100% done. The size of a fifth package is quite heavy, so it will take a time for you to download it. Let's see how much time it will take. four percent is done let's wait for that till it downloads as we can see that 38 percent is done and the size of 30 MB sorry 36 MB is done so I think the size is quite around 100 MB for this speed looks quite good so I don't think so it will take much time the estimated time displays over here is one minute two minute over here fifty percent done okay it means the size is 90 MB for this as we can see that 95 percent is done and 4 MB is left 88 MB is done 98 percent okay 100 percent is done now it will enter the packages We don't have to do anything for that, it will automatically do it. Okay, it shows that installation is completed. Now we can start the MongoDB database. First of all, we have to enable MongoDB on boot. For that, we have a command chk config hyphen hyphen add space mongod okay now we have to enable mongod on run level for that we have a command chkconfig 
25 hyphen levels 235 is the port after that mongod dot sorry mongod space on now we have to start mongodb server for that we have a command etc backslash init dot d backslash mongo d dot start it shows me no such file found okay because I have used dot start and we don't have to use dot over here that site shows me no such file okay it shows starting mongod and it's okay now we have to restart it let's see how to restart it for that we have a command backslash etc backslash init dot d mongod space restart it stopped the earlier one and it started once again now how we can stop it etc space init dot d backslash mongod dot stop again I have used stop dot we don't have to use it okay it's stop now finally let's start it after that we will move to mongodb shell okay finally our mongodb started now we can move to the mongo, mongo shell with the help of command mongo okay now we are in mongo db shell and we have downloaded a version of 2.6.4 okay welcome to mongo shell and we can write the commands over here for the further use this is the installation for the mongo db on centos with the latest version of 2.6.4 thank you